welcome back to MTN Live in the Mountains. I'm here with Roger Bodo. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Um, so he is the vice president of the Boone Lions Club. So how? tell us about, a little bit about the Boone Lions Club. Well, the Boone Lions Club uh, has been here since the 1930s. In fact, uh, we just passed our 76th anniversary. Uh, I joined seven years ago. Uh, you can join by invitation or you can come as a guest for lunch. We have uh, meetings uh, first and third Tuesdays at Sagebrush at 1230. And if you're interested in becoming a lion <laughs> or a lioness, uh, do come by. You know, we're, we'll be glad to see you and uh, maybe invite you to be a lion. But I joined seven years ago. Lions uh, in Boone have been around a long time, obviously. They're a civic organization. Um, our primary focus is helping the blind and vision impaired. Now that may mean uh, providing eye exams and prescriptions and eyeglasses, especially for those who can't afford them. Uh, you know, we put money toward that and we make arrangements with the local uh, vision providers, uh, such as Western Carolina Eye Associates and Blue Ridge Vision and Family Eye Care Center. Uh, and they uh, make it a little more affordable so we can afford to help people. Um, we also help uh, with hearing, uh, provide uh, hearing aids uh, or hearing tests and uh, all sorts of events for, for the blind and vision impaired. Wow, that's a yeah. great organization. Yeah. It so, is. So what, what, what drew you to get, get involved? What, what was it that made you want to join? And, and well, part of it is uh, a colleague invited me, um, Dr. Terry uh, um, Cole. Yeah, I, you might have had Terry for a class or two at one time. <laughs> but he invited me, and I, I liked the group. The group is a very um, collegial group. They're all very dedicated to uh, serving people that need help uh, and participating. Uh, they help us do our fundraisers, and uh, I just felt comfortable with it, you know, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of effort, um, a very minor commitment. You don't have to be at every lunch meeting, you know, which is only two a month. You don't have to work on the various fundraising projects, you, maybe just one or two, whatever time is available. So it's nothing like, you know, lockstep, you got to do this, you mm -hmm. know, it's much, much looser. But the focus is always the same, and that is helping the vision impaired, especially. That's great. That's really great. So um, what are you here to tell us about today? What do you all got going on this Saturday? Well, this Saturday we have something that is very important, and uh, the North Carolina Lions have constructed and have done this for several years now, what they call a mobile vision screening unit. We used to call it the vision van. Well, it's much bigger than a van. This thing is 60 foot long. Air conditioned, we can take care of six people at a time getting vision checks, and we do uh, visual acuity, which is you know nearsighted, farsighted, how well you can see. Uh, we do um, field of vision tests for you, and we also then have we will have uh, a doctor uh, of optometry and ophthalmology there uh, to also check to do the glu uh, glaucoma check. The okay. eye pressure check. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to get those three checkups, and at that point, you know, if there's no problem, you know, it's all free. That's you great. You, you, otherwise, the doctor may say, we think you need to go and get an official eye exam at one of the providers, anybody in town. Mm -hmm. you know. um, six years or older can have their eyes checked. Uh, anybody under 18 has to have a, an adult uh, parent or guardian sign form. Mm -hmm. But it's all free. And it starts at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll be at the Kmart parking lot this year. And it goes till 4 in the afternoon. And so they are welcome to come. Just, you know, you don't have to make reservations. <laughs> just show up. Wow, that's, that is really, really yep. awesome. Um, so it's free. It's free. It's great. And it's no open price. to all to all ages, they um, used to, six and above. Yep, six yeah. and above. And uh, they used to, there used to be a, a couple of DJs in Charlotte, <laughs> not Charlotte, in Greensboro. And I used to listen to them on the way down. And they used to have a thing in the morning where they talk about something and they say, uh, well, it's free. And the guy says, you know what they say? If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that is really awesome. I yep. think that's a great thing yep. to, to um, think about, especially if you, um, 
or like me and can't always make it to the eye doctor, right. get to get right. that checkup. Yeah, and just you to don't be, have you know this sure. is not needs based. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come. You, you may just say, hey, like you say, mm -hmm. you know, I just been so busy, but here's this thing. Mm -hmm. I'll just walk over. It takes 20 minutes right. from finish to done. And, you know, you'll find out, you know, I thought maybe my glasses weren't working too mm -hmm. good. Well, guess what? Maybe they're not. Right. <laughs> you know? And so you get to do that. And then you can say, yeah, I better make an appointment and get in, you know, because once you lose it, that's it. Yeah, you know? that is true. Um, so, you know, and the Lions, uh, we're just one little club. Mm -hmm. We have about 22 members now, which is not bad considering the, in this day and age, it's hard to keep members. Um, but we're one little club out of an international organization that now is up to 1.3 million members into over 200 co uh, countries. Wow, that yep. is amazing. Yeah. And what great yeah. work you guys do. Yep. And we have in, in North Carolina, we have a camp, Camp Dogwood, that we fund in blind people. And once uh, during the summer, blind and hearing impaired can go to camp. Mm -hmm. And they can do all the things that sighted people do with the help of volunteers Wonderful. and you can do tubing you can play mini golf and they have great uh, little events that they do and the food is great and they go for uh, five six days and then in the fall on the coast we have a blind fishing tournament oh wow yep and that's all funded through the work that the lions do what uh, a great organization yep. um well where can people find out more information about the Lions Club? Well, uh, you can go, if you just Google, you know, uh, Boone Lions or Boone Lions Club, it'll bring up our site. It, it's like the top one or two on the list. Hit it, and that'll tell you more about it when we meet, uh, how you can contact us. Uh, if you are a person who needs service, you can um, go there and contact our service coordinator. She will take your application to get, a, you know, funding to help you get, a, mm -hmm. you know, an eye test or, uh, you know, glasses. And we, we uh, cover up to uh, $300. Wonderful. So yep. that's not just for um, the Saturday. You can always contact the Lions Club contact to get some yep. more information We're, about yep. getting assistance yep. with that. Yep. Yep. Well, great. Well, yep. thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. We appreciate nice it. Nice to see you, Brittany. Thank you. It's good to see you, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back after this.